I'm Javier Garcia, a chairman of the Department of Anesthesia, Critical Care and Pain of the Puerta de Hierro University Hospital, Madrid, Spain. I'm very happy to be here to present these uh, videos. My background mainly is in both sides, critical care and anesthesia, and in both sides, pediatric and adults. Now we are going to see in a clinical uh, real model the effect of uh, acute hypoxia and acute hypercapnia. Uh, with this tool you can see in this period of time what we create, this is all this area is hypoxia, so we create an acute hypoxia moment and as you can see here the heart rate is going down, going down, blood pressure is going down, goes down, so it's what we said before uh, hypoxia, oxygen, is the better inotropic and the better anti-arrhythmic drug. So if you have hypoxia, you create, um, um, you, you decrease the, the function of the right ventricular and, the, uh, and left ventricular, and at the same time you create bradycardia. Whenever you correct hypoxia, see how immediately you correct the heart rate. In a second period, in this period, what we have done is to increase the dead space. That creates an acute hypercapnia. And as you can see here, whenever you create hypercapnia, acute hypercapnia, see the effect on the pulmonary artery. So you increase pulmonary resistance and immediately you increase the, the resistance for the right ventricular function. So as you can see here, there is a repercussion on the blood pressure. Uh, and of course, at the same time, you create tachycardia. So this is very important to know. Acute hypercapnia is not well tolerated and have a lot of hemodynamic repercussion. Hypertension, pulmonary hypertension, blood hypertension, arrhythmia, and at the same time create um, increase in head rate. So we cannot allow the patient in, in the OR or whatever to have an acute Hypercarnia. When people, uh, when doctors and uh, cl clinicians talk about permissive hypercarnia, it should be something chronic that you, s you increase every day a little, but always with the pH be totally normal. Thank you.